What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back to another episode to the Back to the Future the Game. Let's play. We are on episode 2 now. We finished the first episode, the first like uh, chapter or whatever of the 5 part series of Back to the Future of the Game. Now we're on episode 2. Last episode we saved Doc, but now Marty's hand is starting to fade away. And now we gotta try to fix this situation and find Einstein. Because, you know, we gotta save the dog, man. We gotta save Einstein. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. Unless, uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... We gotta go back in time. When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Oh, God. Step out of the car with your hands up. Come on, man. How did you even find us? We're behind a giant sign. Okay, you've the cops. Get to the pass. Okay. All right. So, are we gonna leave Doc behind? I can't let him know I'm here. What was that? Nothing. What was what? Nothing. Nothing. Crap! I heard something back there. <laughs> nothing. I think you're mistaken, officer. Uh oh. Move, move, Marty, move. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive, Carl Sagan. The speakeasy arsonist. Uh, a legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. We have to go back and get the key. Buggy is that? Stay back. It's a prototype, still untested. Why will it blow up at any moment? Okay, all right. Or but once again, if you guys are enjoying this Let's Play of Back to the Future, the game, please give the video a like. So, I really do appreciate it. You guys are again. awesome. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Oh god, oh god, okay, alright. It's like ring around the rosy right now, guys. What it's... is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Sure, let's uh, let's go with that. Solid American How does he not machine. see us? That's my question. Now I'm sure something's back there. Dude, Doc, you have like jukes. Just slide a hand him. I like, just go like take his gun and say, Rogers. my gun now. Here from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Keys. Huh. Every time we get Doc out of a situation, another situation happens. It sucks. It really does. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements. Does he not here. see me? I'm like oh, right I next to him. What was that? What was what? <laughs> Crap! I heard something back there. If he just looks down to the left, I am... He's seriously looking where I was. Or where I am. Okay, this guy. I'd like guy. to get a closer look at that getaway car. Uh, let's What's see. that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. Okay, we need I to get in. My henchmen returning, but... Get in the car. Get in the car, Marty. We gotta get out of here. Hey! Back. Go! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back! You got it, Doc. We, but we just saved you! We gotta do the dynamic duo! 88 miles per hour, let go! Ooh! That's a sweet number right there. It's sweet. What was that? Don't worry, Sonny. You'll learn about it soon. Okay, now is this our Marty or is this the past Marty? Marty's got to be in there somewhere. Okay, this is our Marty. The DA. 
There he is. There he is. Rocking that cool All hat. All I gotta do is to him before. Mr. Crockett. Oh, God, Edna. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sandy. Uh, My sources so indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Because I have to, woman. Uh. There. My grandpa he needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then. Carry on, and do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Crud. Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking, get moving. Oh, if this is actually playing like what we played as... Einstein? Our... We stood there for almost 30 minutes, so... <laughs> what is it, boy? Sit, Einie, sit. No, not, not come, sit. Crap. Not stick, not stick, I said sit. Einstein. Oh, crap, we're gonna do a mirror match right now. Marty versus Marty. Oh, God, here comes the jukes. Is it a squirrel, Einie? Oh, God, the best of both worlds right now. You wanna play? Okay, let's play. Get it? Let's play. You know what I'm saying? Is Edna still here? Edna. Go get her, Einie. You! Einstein messes up her shoes, oh, right? Get this mangy animal away from me! Oh, come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Yep. <laughs> Everything's... Way to go, Einie. Going to now, plan. Get into that courthouse and grab Artie before going... Tana's guys. The way we want it. Oh uh, no, return to Mr. Invisible. <laughs> oh, that guy doesn't look nice. Uh oh. Oh hey. crap. Oh god. Um, hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Oh my god, good thing you yeah. didn't see us while we were transparent. Arthur. Why? Um, he needs he help. He be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on, shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Um. Sure, you start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Just do it. No. Oh uh. my god, what the hell is that? What's what? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. Uh, no, I mean after. Oh my god. <laughs> never mind, let's get going. Follow me. Good, good, good. I thought I'd never leave. God, I'm like. Now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. This is pretty crazy. Nope, don't say that. It's not too easy. It's just okay. Watch, we're gonna get interrupted again, right? How do we miss him? We just passed him. You gotta come oh, with me. Mind. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand. No, Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until. Artie McFly. Just the guy we're oh, looking for. No. 2v2, hey, we can do it. Fellas. 2v2. Run. Tag team. Get him. Are you Oh, come on. Come on, Q ball. Why you gotta do us like that? Artie? Uh -huh. Oh no. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Not suspicious at all. Into the darkness that is the soup kitchen. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, it's dramatic right now. The camera's very zoomed into our back and our the back of our head. It's it's intense right now. It's intense. Like like camping. Alright. Let's do this. Looks clear. Alright, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Oh, we're gonna get our we're gonna get our revenge on Q ball over here. All 
Alright. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <laughs> <sighs> Marty, don't get distracted. Oh, no. No. Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Nope. No, you're right. Uh, about that. Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. We're gonna be hiding in the crate. I can already tell. Right? So far, so good. Uh, you gotta say it, Marty. He's headless. I better get in there quick. Crates, let's go. Contents, one winged goddess. Oof. Oops. Hope that wasn't expensive, because uh, she did. <laughs> you know. Ooh, and I love how we still drop it even more. But you know what? It's all right. Hmm. Nice um, fit. Here goes nothing. There should have been a sticker on it that says "Fragile." Crates, cue ball. <laughs> Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster. I'm a freaking butler. True. He's like, it's true. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Pick me, please. Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. Hey, I'm not a gal with no arms. I'm a gal with arms. Whoops. Come on. Oh, do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Fight, fight, fight. No? Okay. Come oh, on, God. Buddy. Slap the hat off of him. Jeez. How much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? Why? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, Let me uh, see. Uh, Do we have to hey, use chloroform Marty, on them? We got a few questions about you and the DA. Oh my DA, god, the slaps even hurt me. D -A -D -E -D? These nuts? Mm, what I'm <laughs> with got him. Seems to be got catching. Him. Zane. Wake up! Oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Save energy, you know? It's all about, uh... Energy saving and stuff like that, you know. I'm sleepyhead. God, he snores loud. Okay, so plan. Chloroform, take that. Ooh, I wonder Artie's we so sneaky. out of it. We sneaky. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping your life away. What is this Literally. Here? What do I spy with my little eye? I, I, I. Word oh, games? Oh. Did we take that too? Dude, we're just taking everything. What's that? I can't Pink take bottom. that. Zane would know something's up. Maybe we, we can pour it in? Pour the chloroform in there? Would that do anything? Wow, it's actually gonna do something? Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, uh, hey guys. I don't feel oh. so. Oh, that was actually pretty smart. I was actually really Zane, smart on Marty's wake part. Wake up, you lazy bum! It must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. <laughs> One more on down. Two to go. All right, all right. I figure we put kids' wall of. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Okay, nice. 
So now that I know that we gotta break the head of, uh, or break the bottle on someone's head. Okay, this guy's gonna come over. Ow! Nice. 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 What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. <laughs> yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Okay. Now we just got one guy left. You know, we should probably hit the bottle. Ooh, so that's what uh, where we are. Okay. Wake up, sleepyhead. Okay. Panic button. He's gonna come over here now. And then we hit him on top of the head with a bottle. Got him! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Are we good? The pitcher's coming back. Nice. Uh, uh, hey, I you. Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Ooh, Sing you tell me. Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? Yep. <sighs> Great. Oh, crap. Dead this weight. isn't funny, guys. Is anyone down there? No one's down there. Dude, Marty just like took out all of them by himself. We're well, technically two of them. So we're doing good work right now. We're doing good work. Oh, Perfect shoot. timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. We can't let two DeLoreans show up because that'd be weird. Need That's a lift? Good illusion right there. Never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Ah, oh, son of a. That cop is slow. Then I carried to the DeLorean and came back to get you. Fascinating. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. So please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. <laughs> oh, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. Yeah, I'll Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good that's, man. That's I'm talking when about. can I expect to see you again? That was a close call. In 40 call. years. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Alright, everything looks good right now. Alright, knock on wood. Alright, everything is fine. So... Did we do it? We're back home. We're back home, everyone. We got our signature well, jack and everything. Okay. Are you sure? Let me check, See, Doc. Like fly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead. The kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, <laughs> oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. Sounds See you good, soon, Doc. I forgot that Doc had kids. Third movie, just All for right. some watch. He has two boys. Or they look like two boys. I don't know. It could be a girl. I'm pretty sure it's two boys. Yes, yeah, two boys. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. 
Um. It's Marty, Dad. Open up. Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. Wait, what? What's going I've got on? I a bad feeling about this. What's going on? You just saw me last night, Dad. Don't you remember? Doc's estate sale, the DeLorean. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. It's me. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. My last name is McFly. <laughs> ah. Um. Uh. How you met Mom? The first time he kissed Mom, it was at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. That's right. Oh my Lord! What are you waiting for, George? Let him in. Thank you. Stupid locks. How many locks are there? Marty. Oh my God, Dad! Well, what happened? What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff. Oh God! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Oh my! Uh, reasonably. It's like Biff Who are they? triplets. Yeah, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What? What do you think we should do with him, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Oh my god. Doc, we need help. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to process here. Oh, when did Biff get brothers? Where did these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's you called smart the birds son of a gun. Oh god. Uh, duck. <clears throat> Biff. Uh... Where's your dad? Does all this have something to do with Kid Tannen? Pop? What about- He was supposed to end up in jail. Jail? Pop's never spent a day in jail in his life. The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. Fifth. We got connections all over the place. Fifth, not, not first, no fifth. You don't believe me? Oh my- yeah, no. Wow, he's, he's packing heat with that gold gun. Bang! <laughs> wow, what Check a trick. What a trick. So you're a family from mine. In gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family okay, in Okay, well, we're moving up in the gang ranking right now. Dodge. <clears throat> Tell me, how long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Ooh, good times. Uh, Shut up, it's not funny. Someone it's messes funny. with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Dodge. And another thing. What that did to you? Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck? Oh, that makes sense. Which one? <laughs> there was like four of them. Ooh. And another thing. Um. <laughs> what are you after? What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. Well, we usually take the payment in cash. But this month, we can take it out of your hide. Let me ask. Shut it. Okay, now we're like going Juke McGee right now. Look at this. Okay, tell me this. No more questions. What an idiot. What an idiot. Ooh, super idiots. Get the gun. Grab the gun. Piece of cake. Yes. I never should have let that floozy talk me out rubbing out your grandfather. Who's huh? that? Oh, God. It's Kid. Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Oh no. Oh, nice save, Doc. Nice save. Doc. Marty, get in. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. 
God, right when we thought we fixed something. That's that's the thing that I've noticed about the Back to the Future uh, Somehow, movies. Something we did in 1931 <laughs> it's always the problem. To escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Katana was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Well, that's not good. Option, Doc. Punch it. Kick it to the limit, you know what I'm saying? Look at that giant square. Did anyone see that square? Woo! We outie. Oh, look, we're back here again. It's cool. Hill Valley Expo, I think. Oh, this is where the science fair. Okay, right? Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, a singer named Trixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Yep, exactly. you saw her. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow huh. we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy. Find out what's gone wrong and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Ooh. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Sounds good. And we're looking good, too. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call that another episode of Back to the Future the Game. Guys, this is getting real good. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun playing this and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you guys are also enjoying watching this Let's Play. Uh, if you guys are, give the video a like, comment down below who is your favorite character in Back to the Future. And I won't hate you if you pick Biff. I just want to know who you guys like the most. Alright, so like, comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged. Let's take it. Eat this, call me Kung Lao! Oh. We got him, we got him.